Hello, I am Robin Brownell, the Area Superintendent of the Denton High Zone. I am honored to serve the students and staff of Bronco Nation. Today, we have the opportunity to celebrate our Teachers of the Year for the Denton High Zone. Please help us celebrate their dedication and service to the students and staff of Bronco Nation. Joey Madsen, Alexander Elementary. Joey Madsen is completing her 14th year in education and fifth year as a fourth grade teacher at Alexander Elementary. Teaching has been a passion for Ms. Madsen from a young age. Ms. Madsen cultivates a safe, supporting learning environment in her classroom where students are comfortable taking risks and asking questions. Her goal is to make learning fun, relevant, and engaging so her students can connect what they are learning in class to the real world. Juan Cardona, Borman Elementary. Juan Cardona is finishing his fourth year in education and fourth year as a music teacher at Borman Elementary. Growing up, Mr. Cardona struggled with anxiety regarding his own music education. He eventually realized that he not only wanted to share his love of music with future generations, but he also wanted to provide a safe space for students to learn. He strives to give all his students a space to explore their musical voice without fear or judgment and focuses on inspiring courage among his students. Andrea Eberhard, Calhoun Middle School. Andrea Eberhard is completing her 12th year in education and 10th year as a PABS teacher at Calhoun Middle School. Ms. Eberhard never gives up on the potential each of her students bring to her classroom. To accomplish this, Ms. Eberhard establishes a structure that allows her students to learn from mistakes and know they are supported and cared for. Her goal is to instill in each of her students the belief they can succeed and to dream for themselves. Rita Brutton, Denton High School. Rita Brutton is finishing her eighth year as a Spanish teacher at Denton High School and her first year as an IB history teacher at Denton High. Ms. Brutton's teaching philosophy revolves around three pillars, expertise, reflection, and empathy. Ms. Brutton works meticulously to ensure she has prepared and researched her lesson plans in order to provide her students the best education possible. She often reflects on the support and empathy that her parents showed her and Ms. Brutton strives to provide that same level of support and empathy now to her own students. Karina Hayes, Evers Park Elementary. Karina Hayes is completing her fourth year in education and her second year as a first grade teacher at Evers Park Elementary. As a first grader herself, Ms. Hayes struggled with reading, but her teacher devised a plan to help her succeed. The encouragement that Ms. Hayes received from her teacher was ultimately what led her to become a teacher herself the encouragement that Mrs. Hayes received from her teacher was ultimately what led her to become a teacher herself, and it is what she tries to give back to her own students today. Ms. Hayes is intentional about learning her students' interests and passions, which she then uses as motivation for them in their education. Her hope is to leave a lasting legacy through the impact she has on her students. Sigrid Zoiger, Gonzales School for Young Children. Sigrid Zoiger is completing her sixth year in education and sixth year as a bilingual pre-K teacher at the Gonzales School for Young Children. Ms. Zoiger incorporates hands-on activities into her lesson plans and believes students will enjoy learning more if they are active and using their senses. She encourages her students to use their imagination and creativity and often has her students work in teams or small groups. Above all else, Ms. Zoiger loves seeing her students' excitement to learn something new. Katie Roach. Houston Elementary. Katie Roach is completing her seventh year in education, all of which have been spent as a special education teacher at Houston Elementary. Before becoming a full-time teacher, Ms. Roach was a substitute and a long-term substitute at Houston for nearly a decade, primarily working in PAPS classrooms. Ms. Roach decided to pursue teaching as her career after watching the impact of her own daughter's first grade teacher had on her. She believes teaching is more than pages in a book, equations, or problems. Instead, it is about building relationships, love and structure while being an advocate for every student. Bill Wainscott, McMath Middle School. Bill Wainscott is finishing his 11th year in education and fifth year as a deaf education teacher at McMath Middle School. Mr. Wainscott spent over a decade as a professional sign language interpreter before moving to education in 2013. Each day, Mr. Wainscott serves as a lifeline to students in his classroom, not just explaining lessons or educational concepts, but also basic information related to everyday life. Mr. Wainscott strives to bridge the gap between his students who are deaf and their classmates, or even their families, ensuring none of his students ever feel lost. Stephen Hewn, Newton Razor Elementary. 
Stephen Hewn is completing his 12th year in education and 9th year as an inclusion teacher at Newton Razor Elementary. Mr. Hewn's philosophy of teaching is rooted in one simple fact, a student's heart comes first. Mr. Hewn wants his students to know he is there to learn about them just as much as they are there to learn from him. For Mr. Hewn, the opportunity to positively impact and make a difference in his students' lives while helping shape their future is what education and his job is all about. Leslie Rojo, W.S. Ryan Elementary. Leslie Rojo is finishing her sixth year in education and third year as a fifth grade bilingual teacher at W.S. Ryan Elementary. As a first generation college graduate, Ms. Rojo frequently encourages her students to not only follow their dreams, but beat the odds. She believes any student is capable of learning and making progress when given the opportunity. Ms. Rojo wants each of her students to know she is their biggest cheerleader and always will be. I want to thank our Teachers of the Year for their unwavering dedication and support for our students in Bronco Nation. Thank you for your love, support, and time that you pour into students each and every day in Denton ISD and our Bronco Nation. We thank you.